It's a video chart presentation of Power 3 medical products brought to you by All Penny Stocks. Power 3 is a NASDAQ bulletin board company trading your ticker PWRM. Tell pretty quickly from this nine month chart, pretty solid slide all the way down here to just over a penny and a half. Big spike all the way up to over a nickel. Since then, slid back down right to that same area of support. We're going to keep an eye on this to hold this bottom level and try and make another move upward. See, we've got the MACD histogram starting to trend back towards zero, giving hints that a bullish cross may be coming. We're going to want to see it. You can see it's tried several times. Almost little head fakes where it's bounced off the signal line. We're going to want to see it break through that signal line and try and reverse this trend and start to roll back towards zero. Basically identical look to the PPO. ADX down low. Positive negative DIs down low. As always, we're going to look for that ADX to try and bounce off a 10 and put some direction to this. MFI is primarily bearish, trading underneath 50, all three into oversold territory at this point. Again, this is just looking for a double bottom place. We're just going to want to see some signs of life to start to trend back over 20. Accumulation distribution, pretty nice channel it has going on. Uptrending, that has a pretty nice look to it. We're just going to want to see it come off this bottom part of the channel and go up and continue to make a higher high. Shaking money flow, relatively mixed over several months. You can see that there has been some buying coming into this stock, though. That's a good thing to see. Right now, again, we're just going to want to see this try and move its way back through zero and try and show buying pressure coming back in. CCI trending back up. Nice look. See it hold that trend line, continue its upward movement is what we're looking for. Full stow shows this stock has just struggled to get any real positive momentum into it. Even back all the way back into that area about six, seven months ago, primarily trading in bear territory. We're going to look for trend lines to be broken, something along those lines, and see if this can start to generate some upward movement. Tricks, of course, is pretty much buried. It's getting down. It's making a new low at this point. It's lagging. We're not going to get much from the tricks. Of course, we're going to be looking for that key area of 50 to get broken in the RSIs. A little bit of life tried to come into it these last couple days. Long upper shadow doji there, another doji yesterday. Just an interesting play if this is going to hold this base and try and put together another move. You see it's pretty solid right there through that 0165. Did dip all the way down here to 016 back in November but pulled up immediately. So we're just going to keep an eye on this for this base to hold. You can see it's trying to put together a little bit of a move and come off the bottom. We're going to want to see some of these days where it's actually going to close at that high and not pull back down to right where it opened. There'll be just a little bit of resistance in through here at 019. I don't anticipate it being that difficult if this does generate some forward movement. I don't even think two cents is going to be that hard. The real resistance is going to come in at 022. Pretty good support level through there. It was a pretty good support level back last year as well. Of course, recently fell through it over the last month. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. I want to keep an eye on these moving averages, shorter term moving averages, starting to make their curls, showing some strength. I see it challenges 20 day moving average at two cents. Climb to the north side of that. Pay attention to volume. You can see when this got some spikes, volume certainly picked up. 955,000 shares traded is enough liquidity. You can see that was just about an average day. We're going to look for that volume to start to increase. Show some buying pressure. We can see some buying pressure. We'll see some of these things close at a higher level and move past these dojis, start to put together some nice green candles. The indicators are just starting to give hints. But again, this is very early in any possible reversal, double bottom. So it's one to keep on radar for that bottom support to always hold, for volume to pick up, and for it to make a run at 022. If it can break through 22, Gains come pretty quickly from this penny level, two cent level. So we we'll go up here and challenge 022. It's already talking about a 20% move to get to there. It won't meet any real probably strong resistance again until it gets up here into the two and a half cent area. Again, that's another 15% on top of where it is. So the gains do come pretty quickly. There's the 50 day moving average, a little bit longer term sort of thing you're looking for. Right now, the key to this chart is to see some buying pressure and see if this can close near the high of the day one of these days to identify this as another double bottom. As always, merely my interpretation of the Power 3 medical chart. I am not a financial consultant. I strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. Do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by All Penny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.